Exactly. They exactly. Say one is coming. Exactly. Yeah. Show me. Show me. That's right. That's exactly. Right. Yeah. Let us pray. Father God, we bless your holy name, oh God. We praise you because of who you are, Father, and what you have done, what you are doing, and what you continue to do, oh God. We've asked for your forgiveness, God, and we have not acknowledged what you have done in our lives. Father, I present myself before your presence, oh God, and I ask that I decrease and you increase. That you fill my mouth, that your Holy Spirit fill my mouth, oh God, and it empties me with this message that you have impregnated me with, oh Lord, and may be delivered, pierced the minds and souls of those who are listening at the sound of my voice, oh God. Let you be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Okay, so the message today is hidden. In human nature, we have the ability to hide when we do something wrong. Yeah. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. We're like, Adam and Eve, yeah! Right? Mm -hmm. Like Adam and Eve. Yeah. Right? They did wrong, and the first thing they did is hid. That's right. And God said, where are you, Adam? Uh -huh. Not that he didn't know Come on. where he was. That's right. He wanted him to acknowledge, acknowledge him. That's right. Acknowledge him and say, here I am, bare before you. Yes. Right? Yes. So we, are, we, we hide from certain things. We tell, we tell ourselves lies. That's right. To compromise the situation that we find ourselves in. Mm -hmm. Whether you don't know the outcome, right? Right. right? God's word says that he works all things out together for the good for those who love him and are called upon his purpose, right? Yes. right? So that means in somewhere in there, he has to hide you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes. Right? If he's gonna work it out somewhere along that GPS of his, he has to hide you right. to move something in your favor. That's right. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. So when we find ourselves hiding, from God. It doesn't surprise him. Come on. Just like it didn't matter. Right? right? It doesn't surprise him that we hide from him. We hide from you know, even ourselves. There's people out there that have the ability to hide even emotions. Yes. yes. They put yes. it in the back of their mind. They block it out. Yes. And so therefore, when that thing comes back, which the enemy can use uh -huh. to punch you in the gut, it comes back full force, reinforcing something that you may have been addicted to, Jesus. something that you have been idling, yes. something that you have been worshiping, something other than God to unfocus you, yet you are still hidden. Yes. Hey, man, You're that's doing true. things in the hidden. That's true. You're doing things that, that only God can see and the enemy. That's right. Right? That's right. But when we go into our secret place, what is our secret place? Our designated area, our war room, our place where we just go there to yeah, God. Yeah. In that secret place, you empty yourself before the Lord and you are not hidden. Come you on. are not hidden. Make he sees shine. you there. He sees you completely there, naked and right. all. As I said, remember me, Lord. That's right. Remember me. Here I am before you with all of my thoughts, with all of my sin, with all of my, everything that has fallen on me, oh God. Remember me, Amen. your servant. I praise you because of who you are. I praise you because you are my savior. I praise you because you are my healer. I praise you because you are the one, yes. the only one that can get me out of the situation. Yes. And nothing is hidden from you. And anything that it is against me that is hidden, you know it before I do. That's and right. you give me the power through your Holy Spirit to pray against it. You reveal it to the prophets. You speak to me day in, day out. I am never alone. You say that you will never leave or forsake yes, me. Right. So when I feel alone, that's a lie from the devil. And in your secret place, yes, Jesus. Yes. yes. You pray like you have. You could. You pray outrageous prayers. Come on. Outrageous Come prayers. On. Don't compromise your prayer time for nobody. Jesus. Don't compromise your prayer. Let your prayer time be that time when you turn off your phone, you turn off Facebook, you turn off everything that has sound. Uh, and on. the only sound that you're going to hear is your worship That's right. to God. Amen. And if you can't sing, your soul will do it for you. Come on. Come Amen. On. Amen. Amen. So, hidden. 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 We're in a season where Apostle said, suddenly. And I believe that, but not for everybody. Ah, uh, come on, come not on, for, come on. 
Suddenly may not be a good thing for everybody. That's right. That's right. That's true. Because whatever fruit you sow, Woo! you shall reap. Yes. Right? right? So if you're if you're gossiping, if you gossip, this is just an example. It's like spreading feathers all throughout the city. Once once you have gossip, you can't go back and pick up all the feathers. Woo! And they get out of control. It's out of control. Yes. Right? So, where am I going with this? Like Prophet Tess said about we have a new president and yes, we want the $1,400. Stimulate me, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it is <a> fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yes, Lord. Yes. You know, yes. we want that. But here's the thing, and I have been praying about this for a while. Because I, I had some conflicting things going on within myself about what was going on in the realm of the spirit. Mm -hmm. And God, through all of this crazy, chaotic mess that has gone on, has exposed the false prophets. Yeah. yeah. Has exposed false teachers. Yeah. Has exposed um, false doctrines and idols. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Trump was a president. He was not my savior. That's right. That's right. Amen? Amen. That's so right. people were preaching more about Trump than they were about Jesus. That's so right. Jesus said, I'm going to shut your mouth. Yeah. I'm going to shut your mouth. So there is all kinds of stuff going on in the realm of the spirit right now that we're being hidden from. Jesus. We're being hidden from. And the scripture that I want to read from today is 2 Corinthians. Four, chapter 4, verses 6 to 10. Second Corinthians, chapter 4, verses 6 to 10. And I'm reading from the um, New International Version. For God who said, let the light shine out of darkness, may his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory. I reiterate. The knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard pressed on every side but not crushed. Perplexed but not in despair. Persecuted but not abandoned. Struck down and not destroyed. We are always carrying around in our bodies the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. My God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. To know that we are seated in high places, that when God looks to his right, he sees us Woo. through Jesus. Come on. That's okay? right. Okay? That's he right. sees us through Jesus That's because right. he paid the price. That's we right. are one with him. And we can't get to the Father unless we go through him. That's right. In prayer or anything else, we cannot bypass. We cannot take shortcuts. We have to go through Jesus. That's right. We have to go Amen. through Jesus. So what has happened in this past year and a half? There has been a great divide. Yes. A great divide, not just in our nation. This divide in families. Yes. There's divide in relationships. Yes. Marriages, mm -hmm. one is Christian, the other one is, is Baptist, whatever, or one is Catholic, or just all kinds yes. of mixed up stuff. Yes. And in the midst of it, the children are watching it. Yes. Come on. And being confused. But guess what else is divided? The church. church. Amen. The Amen. church has become yes. so divided. Yes. And I want to read this to you. I, I, I read this book during my little thing at um, the mall, and it's called Judgment on the House of God, Cleansing and the Glory Are Coming. Jesus. After reading this book, or during reading this book, at one point I had to go outside, literally leave the kiosk and go outside and cry my house out and ask God for forgiveness. Mm. Because this, this book shows you a lot of things. And one of the things that I want to share is, um, is by Jeremiah Johnson. And he says, around every corner of promotion, new opportunities, a viper waiting to strike, a python waiting to squeeze, a Jezebel looking to silence you, a Saul throwing a javelin, a traitor ready to assassinate your success, 
and perhaps most dangerous of all people lining up to worship you. As someone who has walked in the path and only escaped by the grace of God, knowing the test will be only increased, the test will only increase in quantity and difficulty in the years ahead, I can beseech the church to intercede for those being promoted and given national favor of influence. While it may appear that such leaders have it all, the truth is the devil is looking for a hole in their armor. When he finds it, he will penetrate it. So without our fervent cries for protection and purify, or purity for them, another generation of messengers will become prideful, arrogant, compromised, and polluted. If those called by God only understood the seduction and temptation in ministry, they would stop paving platforms and microphones. The very spotlight, many can't wait to step in the very spotlight that will expose them and turn them into another yes. Adam, Adam, uh, evangelistic, apostolic, and prophetic whore. Yes. So I know this is strong language, but it's serious business in the kingdom of God. It's one thing not to care about a platform because you have never been given one. It's another to walk in a great influence yet refuse to be pent and prostituted. That's right. Wow. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. If God did not send you, don't invite yourself. Come on. Amen. <laughs> because some, someone wrote to me, I want to come preach at the church. I said, well, I'm not at my church right now, but you have to ask my pastor if Jesus sent you. Yeah. Right? Yes. So, why is God hiding us? Let us go to this video real quick so I can show you. You can see for yourself. Can we turn off the lights, please? I'm sorry. That was a lie. You took it off of Bluetooth? No, I'm going to connect it now. Let me see. It's on Bluetooth. It's on. But if it's connected, then take it off. And put it on their info, right? Mm-hmm. Right now. Yeah. No. Yeah, then I'll do it there tomorrow. I can't plug it in here. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I think we did that last time. Hold your laptop. Put it on Bluetooth. The AUA is holding in the office. What is it called? AUA. No. This is not my gospel. 
that builds these walls between us, drawing borders that separate, raising flags of supremacy, empires of hate in the name of freedom. This is not my gospel that casts the immigrant out, putting mothers' urgent hands from the cries of their children, expelling souls to isolation because of the color of their skin, their sexuality, the gender, the class, the nation they live in. This is not my gospel that spits on the face of God, lashing his image with words of rejection, warmongering, dominating the weak, diminishing salvation to a conditional thing, while hope lies lost and bleeding, weeping for relief. This is not my gospel that turns communities inwards, planting distrust in their hearts towards the beauty of difference, labeling neighbors as enemies and defining us by division. This is not my gospel with its eyes full of pride, when injustice is clothed in lies, when grace is caged, we face the great divide, humanity displaced from love. My gospel is love, who crossed the chasm between heaven and earth, speaking worth to all in endless benevolence, love who sat in the dirt with the rejected, erasing their shame with the touch of acceptance, who reached for those society deserted, embracing the leper, the filthy, the hurting. Love who clutched the souls of his rivals in nail-pierced hands, holding them free from hell's vicious venom, declaring them brother, sister, cherished, forgiven. Love who tore the temple veil, divine grasping flesh, flesh clutching divine, crying, you are mine, precious mankind, awake from your slumber and open your eyes to love, who walked through the walls, crossing divine with burning passion, calling for those who have lost their place, breaking tomb after tomb after tomb to reveal a world of eternal embrace. This is my gospel. This is the cry heard in the night of unrest, clutched close to heartbroken chests, crying, reach for me, reach past the borders, reach to the wounds that have torn us apart, plant seeds of compassion where malice has grown, throw your arms open and welcome the forsaken home, break down the walls that hate has raised, turn your eyes to the face of the shamed and realize that it is mine. It is yours, we are one reborn and remade. Let the stars fall, let mercy cascade, let the heavens pour, I gave you my all. I will give it again and again and again. I throw down my kingship, I throw down my fame. To be with you in the rejection, to hold you in the pain. You are not the outsider, nor a child of shame. Let the depths proclaim to the heights above that you are loved. So why the message hidden? Through this seasons, because it's, it's not one season, it has been many seasons. If you look back at last January, when Kobe uh, Bryant passed away. In the newspaper, there was the news of his passing away, and on the right, on the, the left-hand side was already announced COVID, COVID yeah. right? But we didn't come to realize it until February or March, right? That's right. And that's when all hell literally broke loose, yeah. right? Churches were closed. Businesses have been closed. Yeah. To think that Bed Bath & Beyond is closing, that Old Navy is closing, that Macy's is closing. This is a system where we go and shop, mm -hmm. where we go and spend our money, right? Mm -hmm. And churches is where we go and give our tithings. Mm -hmm. 
right? And people are like, well, why should I give money? Well, there's electric that needs to be paid. There's water yeah. that needs to be paid. This is not going to run by itself. It's just like any other business. It's like this is God's business. Yeah. And by the way, he doesn't want to bless you 10%. He don't need your 10%. He wants to bless you 90%. That's right. Amen? That's right. That's he right. wants to bless you 90% so that you give. And when you give cheerfully, God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. 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 And so... Here we are in these seasons that we have gone through step by step. Basically, fear has crept in on some of us. Yes. Uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Whether we're going to have a job. Mm -hmm. Whether we're going to have electric or water. We don't know what system may collapse at any given moment. True. Right? Yes. So God is saying, I have hidden you, the church. Come on. Come on. Not the building, you. When you invite people to the church, you're inviting them to yourself. Because you are the church. So you should represent. You should be the same way in here as you are out there. Amen. 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 So that people can see God's grace in you. Yes. And people can see God's love in you. Yes. But if you can go hide in your secret place, that he can fill you up every single day. And every time you get offended, go to your secret place. Every time you question something, go to your secret place. Yes. Every time that you doubt something, go to your secret place. Amen. Every time that you doubt God, go to your secret place. Yes. Doubt your doubt, but don't doubt God. Yes. Because he is faithful. He will never change. But he's constantly doing something new. Yes. Yeah. Constantly doing something new. You know why it's new? Because his mercies are new every yes. single day. Yes. That means that every single day there's a shifting going on. Yes. And that shift brings forth new things. That's right. That's Amen. Right. New blessings. Yes. New revelation. New songs. New praise. Amen. Amen. You following me so far? Yes. So God has taken the church and has hidden it in a place so that we can build altars in our homes. Come on. Amen. Come on. We can build altars in our home. Somebody asked me, well, what's an altar to God? I'm like, your secret place. Fill right. your house Street. with worship music. Yes. Someone said the other day, I said, I'm feeling bad and this is now pray for me. I said, no, you pray for yourself. You have the same power. Take your oil, anoint yourself, and put on some worship and praise music and clear out your own house. Come on, man. Come on. The same authority that God has given me, you have it in you. That's right. Amen? Amen. Because what is happening is, and the reason why God is hiding some of us, it's not he's not hiding us physically. People can still see us, but he's hiding a certain spiritual aspect of us because after this great divide, and you will see in the future, he's going to use every single one of us. He's going to put people in our path that are going to cry out for help, yes. that are going to cry out for a word, yes. that are going to cry out for prayer, yes. that are going to cry out for Jesus, who are going to repent, who are going to say, I don't want this yes. anymore. I don't want to feel this they way anymore. Come. I don't want to carry this yes. anymore. Let them come, Jesus. Yes. Let them come. And so he's going to use every single one of us after we've been in that secret place. That's right. Hidden. Yes. Being filled. Yes. You can't go out there and minister without yes. revelation. Yes. yes. He is equipping the church That's that right. unlike yes, anything is. ever before. Yes, He's he cleansing is. out yes, he is. all the dirt, all the polluted, all the yes. filth that Come is on. going on. Come there's on. a church that I found out. There's a, a worship team that is hired by the church, but none of them are saved. Jesus performance. Performance. We come. We become spectators. Mm -hmm. God didn't call us to be spectators. He called us to be active. Yes, he said, "Go." Amen. He didn't say pray fast. <laughs> he said, "Go." Go and preach to the nations. Yes, right? Yes, he didn't yes, say have a board meeting <laughs> with coffee and cake. Come on. He said, "Go." Right. In season and out of season, preach the gospel. Yes. Amen. You may not be able to preach the gospel to a person the same way that you might to somebody else because their way of thinking may be different. Uh -huh. But if you go into your secret place, God will equip you That's right. to, minister to minister to that person That's at their right. level according to their faith, yeah. according to their goal, and where they're going. Yes. Because God knows the end from the beginning. So when you preach that thing, you are giving existence to it. You're giving life to that. Yes. You are planting a seed. And you will not know anything about it. Mm -hmm. 
You may never see that person ever again, yes. but the dividends of your blessings oh, yes. will continue to come. come. On. Yes. Amen? Yes. Yes. So, yes. Jesus, Jesus, the center of it all. Everything was created for him, through him, and by him. He's the one who sustains everything. Oh, yes. Come on. And when it was hidden, Jesus. before anything came into existence, yeah. like yeah. he told Job, where were you when I was laying down the foundation of the earth? That's right. Come on. Do you understand? Come on. Hey, hey, yeah. The only place we can understand that is him when well, we're hidden. <laughs> Amen? Because yeah. he was like, who do you think you are? Come on. That's right. You don't know, you have no idea what I have accomplished. <laughs> right? You know what amazes me? That God knows the names of all the stars. All of them. All of them. Trillions of stars. Probably even more. Yeah. We cannot fathom. That's right. So if he I knows know all of that, yeah. imagine how much more he knows about us. Jesus. You know what? Yeah, exactly. Like a pastor. A pastor has the ability to joke. She has that, that, that quality about her. She could be serious. It's an attribute of her personality, Amen. right? The same with uh, Prophet Tess. She has her, her personality. You have your personality. You have your personality. Yes. But God will use those attributes for his glory. That's yes. right. That's right. You can win a soul by making a joke. That's right. That's right. Right? You have, you, we don't know how God's going to work it out. But he's like, I'm going to use your mouth. Yeah. To say this and to say that. That's right. Right? So, in John 3, 8 says, The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear its sound, but you do not know where it comes from Jesus. or where it goes. That's right. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Jesus. I could be here right now, but my spirit could be Somewhere. in Asia. Yeah. Right. Amen? Amen. Or I could be right here right now and someone in India is praying for me. That's right. The spirit moves. Our spirit moves. When we are in a hidden place, when we are in a hidden place, what is moving? Our spirit. So what does that lead to? Because we're all spiritual, like the apostle talking. We all have breath. That's our spirit. That's right. Right? What we need to worry about is our soul. Yeah. Is it well with my soul? Yes. yes. Jesus. In seasons of depression, I plead for your protection. Make me right. I'm tired of being wrong. Right? And we have to go be boldly before the throne of God and ask for forgiveness of our sins. That's right. We can't just say, God, forgive my sins. No, 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 no. If you know that you sinned on purpose, name that thing. Come on. Come Name on. it. Name it. Father God, I sin against you this way. Forgive me. And really repent. Yes. With your heart. Not with your mouth or with your mind. With your heart. Really repent in that secret place. Because at that very moment, God could heal you. He could restore you. He could redeem you. Yes. Salvation. And when you rise up from that floor, you better rise up as the whole fire. But don't rise up from that floor until you are on fire for God. Yes. Amen? Because he's going to use all of your talents, all of your gifts, all of you to the point where he will leave you exhausted and say, he will not rebuke you for being tired. He sent the apostles out to work. They came back and gave them a report and said, we did this, but we're tired. Jesus didn't rebuke them. He said, come away with me. So when we get tired, Go away with him. Come on. And when I say tired, I'm talking about physical, mentally. I think mental tiredness is more, it's worse than physical. Come on. Okay? Yes. Am I right? Very, because yeah. so many things, we are constantly being bombarded by so much stuff. We live in an age where information is just everywhere, but we have been, become people who don't communicate. Amen. So God is calling us to a place of intimacy of being hidden with him, in him, to come away with him, to praise him, so that he could fill your cup, so it overflows. Amen. 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 And the reason why God is holding you back, because there's people out there 
who steal your anointing. Jesus. They're not godly, mm -hmm. but they see your anointing. Those are the people who criticize you, your haters, or oh, look at her, she has to know. You don't know what I've been through today. That's right. That's right. I'm holding my head high by the grace of God. Come on. Come on. I'm walking straight, not because I'm prideful, but because by the grace of God, I ran it through what I would, could have been something horrible this morning. Yeah, that's right. Amen? Amen? So, we cannot waste our oil mm. on everybody. Come on. Not everybody is our assignment. That's right. Come on. Not everybody is our assignment. When you start to do things, that are not in your assignment, you are doing it without the permission of heaven. Yes. And, you, and heaven is not backing you up, you will be left high and dry, physically, emotionally, <laughs> and financially devastated. Oh, yeah, my God. Because you did not ask for the permission of heaven. Jesus, Jesus is not with you, the angels ain't with you, <laughs> nobody. You just over the city and glory, glory, and God's like, I ain't telling you to go over there. That's right. My God. I told you to stay home. Jesus. But you want to be busy. And so we become addicted to ministry. Yeah. Yeah. We become addicted to ministry and we forget about our, in, our own intimacy with God. Come on. Our own inner man to deal with this what's inside that only you, only God and I no. can talk That's about. Right. My God. You can't talk to everybody Ooh. about everything. Yes. Not everything needs to be spoken. You don't need to give the enemy any, any arsenary. You don't need to give the enemy any weapons. You don't need to give the enemy nothing. Yes. You speak what God tells you to speak. Yes. And when God reveals something to you, whether it's personal or for your ministry, and I hate to tell you, shut up. Yeah, yeah, Shut yeah. up. Until yeah. it comes to pass. Yeah. Then you give him all the glory. Come on. Because the moment you start speaking that thing, the moment you just started putting speed bumps, stoplights, and all kinds of things in the oh, way for yourself. Barricades, yeah. Barricades, and, your, and you, you will hold back your own blessing Amen. by Amen. talking. Amen. Jesus. And I learned that through this whole season about this job. God said, don't talk about it. Let it be known afterwards. Yeah. Because this came from me. Come on. It wasn't because of your doing. I'm giving you the desires of your heart because I put it there when you were in the secret place, hidden. And when we hide ourselves, what does Psalm 91 says? Those who abide in the shadow. What does that mean? He's hiding you. He's hiding you. In Psalm 139, 12 through 18, it says, Even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is bright as day, for darkness is as light with you. For you formed my inward part. You needed me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My friend was not hidden from you when I was being made in the secret intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed substance, and in your book were written every one of them the days that were formed for me, when as yet there was none of them. Amen. God already seen you in the hidden place. Yes, he has. He's seen you in the hidden place. So is he not going to see you when you go to your secret place? He's going to see all of you. The good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between. That's right. And the best thing about God is that you can talk to him just like you can talk to a best friend. That's right. Mm -hmm. If you see me praying sometimes, you probably think I'm crazy. I'll be like, you see what these people doing? <laughs> Do we need to have a board meeting, Lord? <laughs> because that's how you can talk to God. That's right. He calls us friend. That's right. Now, you speak with God with the, the fear and trembling, working out your salvation yeah. every single day. That's why we have to be hidden every single day for part of our lives so that we can put on the armor of God, 
so that we can prepare ourselves so that we can go out because we're going to be afflicted we're going to be insulted we're going to run to rude people and a lot of things can happen in one day that can leave you wounded we come to church to be re rejuvenated so that we can go right back out and fight the good fight for the lord yes amen, amen. amen. so i'm finishing with this we all are ministers come on we're all our ministers. We all have a ministry. If you have a home and you have children and you're not part of a ministry in the church, you have a ministry at home. That's right. Amen? If you have uh, a job, you have a ministry at work. There's people there, believe it or not, that depend on you walking in day, out, day in and day out because when you enter the room, peace comes with you. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's true. So, if you hold on to Jesus, the word of God says that goodness and mercy shall follow me all of the days of my life. The word says that he is a strong tower and we run to it. The word says that he goes before us. That means he is hiding you behind him. That means he is before you. Goodness and mercy shall follow you all of the days of your life. If you go to your secret place, you don't have to chase down the blessings. The blessings are going to chase you down. Yes, right. Somebody say hallelujah. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Because blessings are not just for us. That's right. It is to pass it on. Yes. When God blesses you with something, he blesses you. One of the things that gets on my nerves is hashtag blessed. I just got the new iPhone 12, blessed. No, you just spent a thousand dollars, you're in debt. <laughs> <laughs> you're not blessed, you're in debt. <laughs> hashtag debt. <laughs> blessed is when God gives it to you. Come on, come on. The Word of God also tells us, the Word of God also, yeah. <laughs> The word of God also tells us that blessed are those who are persecuted. Yes. See, sometimes we think of blessings and you see the money, material, the whatever. But, right. but blessings that come from God, sometimes people talk about you like a dog. Yeah. And you're blessed. That's right. People drag your name through the mud, but you're true blessed. Best. That's true. People will say all kinds of wickedness against you, all lies. But guess who's blessed? blessed. You're right. blessed. Turn your back on it, but you're blessed. You're blessed. Yeah. My you know God. what? As a preacher said once said, Ron Carpenter said, he was visiting another church. He usually doesn't preach anywhere else on Sundays. He always preaches at his home church. But that Sunday, he decided that he was going to go to this church. He, he got in a taxi. He told the taxi driver, take me to the church that everybody talks bad about. He said, why? He said, because that's the one doing something. That's the one actually getting stuff done. Because see, there's a divide. And that divide that is happening in this nation, even in our spirit, not our soul, our soul stays intact. People are slandering, people are murmuring, people are doing all kinds of things. The other day, I saw a post that really upset me. And it, it was, I'm a graphic designer, so I can spot a fake photo when I see one. Okay, somebody posted a picture of Joe, um, Hunter Biden sitting in a chair with all kinds of pedophile stuff behind him. And then we have this woman, Green, in the Senate who's talking all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I pointed it out. I didn't mention the person's name. I said, this is Photoshop. This is the kind of stuff that gets people killed. Something that simple could get that man killed. Because that's what you want to believe. Yeah. Without any proof. If he's a pedophile, where are the cases? Where are the children making accusations against him? Be careful what you put out there. Yeah. You may be putting someone in danger. Yes, it may not be Hunter Biden, but it could be your neighbor. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying to you is, while God is hiding you, think of your neighbor. Literally, your neighbor. Say hi. Go over there once in a while. Take a one of big cookies or something. Little Dollar Tree. Something. 
and just connect with someone because there's people out there who are dying to hear a word, a simple hello, or a hug, yes. or an I love you. Amen? Amen? So with closing, I will leave you with this last video. This is not my gospel. This has been a long year. A year of uncertainty, struggle, pain. We've watched a virus take countless lives. People we knew, people we loved. Jobs have been lost. Businesses have shut down. And churches have been forced to close their doors. We've witnessed division on an unprecedented level. Cities filled with violence. Streets filled with protesters. And we felt the sting of racism. The deep heartache of hate. There have been times where it's been difficult to see the hand of God. But even in the darkest of moments, He has been there. Faithful. Present. Powerful. As a new year begins, we stand on a simple truth. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They'll soar on wings as eagles. They'll run and not grow weary. They'll walk and not grow faint. We don't know what this new year will hold, but we know that it's held by a God whose mercies are new every morning. This is where we place our trust. This is the truth on which we stand. This is our hope for the new year. secret place. Ask God to give you revelation of what he wants you to do. How to minister to fill you with love and compassion. Yeah. Well, you can't have love without compassion. Right? Yeah. For each other, reach out to your sisters and brothers in Christ, especially your sisters and brothers in Christ. Because sometimes a cheerful word does so much more to right now a day. Yes. And although we're facing many challenges ahead of us. We know that we have a mighty God. Yes. They will never leave nor forsake us. Yes. Amen. I'm going to ask you all to stand up for a minute and pray along with me, please. I'm going to ask you to raise your hands. We raise our hands to receive what we don't have. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So I ask you to repeat with me. Father God. Father God, I thank you, I thank you for, your for your loving kindness, your faithfulness, your, faithfulness, your, son, Jesus your son Jesus Christ, your salvation, your salvation and the gifts that you have bestowed upon me by your grace and mercy. Father, I ask for forgiveness if I haven't gotten to my, sec my hidden secret place. To reveal, to reveal myself to you, myself to you verbally, verbally admitting, admitting everything there is to know about me, oh God. Everything there is to know about me, oh God. Even though it's not hidden from you. Even though it's not hidden from you. My words, oh God. My words, oh God. Will lead to your praise and worship. Will lead to your praise and worship. Father, Father have your way in me. Have your way in me. And when you release me out there. And when you release me out to there, preach your gospel, to preach your gospel, I will not be hidden anymore. I will not be hidden anymore. I will be bold. I will be bold. I will preach the gospel. I will preach the gospel in pure truth. And in pure truth. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of your Holy Spirit. And not my own might. And not my own might. I praise your holy name. I praise your holy and name. And I thank you, God. And I thank you, God. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Give God some love.